Right, the perpendicular distance from a point to a line. So we have this line with the ve vector equation. We have a point P, and we're looking for the distance of P from P to the line. And for us to be able to work that out, we need the perpendicular distance, so the shortest distance there. We're going to call that point that we've just marked up N. And this means that since the, uh, since the uh, vector NP crosses the line at right angles, the scalar product between uh, the vector and the direction of the line would give us zero. We're going to use that to be able to help us find that vector NP and its length. Okay, so this is easiest to do with an example. We're going to find the shortest distance of the point P, 1, 2, 3, from the line with that following equation. So, P is 1, 2, 3. We have an origin 0, sorry, O, and ON is then the vector that's made from that equation that we know that the line is, um, just using T as a particular case of lambda. So it follows the same equation as um, the vector equation for R, since it's a point on the line. So N is on that line, so we're using that equation. Now put those together, so we have um, the vector for ON in terms of T. Right, next we want to think about the vector NP, because that's the actual one we want to work out and uh, work out its magnitude. So to make NP, we would have to do OP minus ON, just using normal vector laws there. Okay, now OP is the vector 1, 2, 3. So OP minus ON looks like this. And we can put that together, so we now have NP in terms of T. Now this isn't all going to fit onto the one slide, so I'm just going to copy that across to the next one. So we have NP in terms of T. We have the equation of our line. And we know that the um, scalar product, when things are perpendicular, will equal zero. Now the perpendicular parts on this diagram are the vector NP and the direction of that line R. So we're only interested in the 1 minus 2, 2 part of that equation. That's the bit that will give us the scalar product equal to zero. Once we know that, we can use the scalar product to create an equation in terms of t and set it equal to zero. And now we can solve for t. So t is 4 thirds. That helps us to work out where n is. So n is the position on the line where lambda is equal to 4 thirds. So pop t into our equation for np and we can work out the values. So now we have our position vector for np. From there we can work out the length of it by using the uh, magnitude of that vector np. And that gives us a final answer of 5. This one came out to a nice rounded answer. You won't always get that. It might be fractions or decimals.